this is the 520 I'm putting on the CW filter with. And as you can see, I already installed the CW filter. And the CW filter is always engaged in CW or in tune mode. But sometimes I want to use the sideband filter as a wide. But in order to do that, if I change to upper sideband or lower you know, to the sideband, I have to compensate with the offset with the RT, which is kind of a little odd. So normally when you install the CW filter, this place is uh, this space is vacant. And there's this brown wire here that's a connected originally to a post in here. This post here, which is marked, I don't think you can read it here, sideband filters, SSB. Right with this tool, this is SSB in there. So normally this will be the brown, the brown wire that's uh, sitting here wire wrapped around this. When you install the CW filter, after you install the CW filter and solder it underneath, you'll have to move this brown wire, unravel it a little bit, and bring it over here and attach it to the CW post. And this CW post is, that's what it says right here, CW post, this is it down there, the CW post. And that's all to it installing the CW filter. However, I want to switch this brown wire from either the sideband or the CW filter. And in order to do that, you can use, attach, uh, undo it from here and attach it to a single pole double twirl switch and flip that switch while in the CW mode. So you have the option of a white filter or the narrow filter. The problem is so where to attach the filter or the switch. And I don't want to put any switch anywhere in the front panel nor make a hole in the top panel. But I was thinking of putting the switch here in the access panel and just click it. Now I realize that there is these Fixed channel crystal positions that is selected by this channel selector switch. You could put you could have four independent uh, crystals in there for fixed channel operation. So I traced the common of the switch to this purple wire right here. So if I undo this wire and then connect it to the brown wire, then I will have the brown wire going through the blue wire to the common of that switch, which is down here. And by selecting the switch, I could select the position and number it. One, two, three and four on the board. Let's see if we can see that. See the three and the four and the two and the one is underneath the yellow one. So what I'm gonna do then is put a jumper from let's say number one to the sideband post then from number two to the CW post. Something like this. I may already make a little wire harness. I'm going to sort of post these two here. This one for the side band, uh, single sideband post, and the other one for the CW post here. That way, when I'm in the CW mode, I will be able to select 
position one to be sideband filter, more or less like wide, and then switch switch it to position two and get the narrow filter. That's the goal. So the purple wire that was in here now the signal goes from the brown wire to the purple wire into the switch I select and it'll come out either the top one number one or number two number one is the blue one I solder it to the singles to this SSB post here and the other one is soldered to the CW post here. I'll dress this up so that it will get needed. But this is what it looks like. See if this works. Let's get the uh, calibrator. Great. So right now we're in the narrow mode of position two. Position one is open in the sideband line, still in the um, CW mode. It's the two mode. Looks like it's all plugged up. It's the camera. Okay, CW mode. So now I put uh, zero B. Then I choose a narrow. Why? Zero B. So I'm going to make a note and I'm going to paste it on here. 